welcome back is somebody here is somebody here God told Job the waters in the sea who made it to stop at the shore who made it to hold at the banks who put a gate there he said I'm the one you don't know he said I'm the one are you here? That was the first time, Genesis chapter 1, verse 6, that water was parted. The second time, it was in the time of Moses when he came to the Red Sea. Oh, God said, Don't cry out to me. There is a rod in your hand. He rose the rod. And that was how the Red Sea parted. The Bible says they walked on dry ground. Elijah opened the waters, opened the Jordan, and they walked with his son on dry ground. When you acknowledge grace, you walk in grace. I say you operate in grace. And you operate in the city in grace. Malagos Karyande Kosabahaya. Mato Lekelia Prada. Don't have the notion that heaven is far. Heaven is here. Heaven is in you. Hallelujah. Continue. Continue. Some kings. Something is going to happen here. At this moment, Elijah and Elisha, his son, are going across Jordan on dry ground. I think this is the fourth time because it happened to Joshua. This is the fourth time, not the third. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Because you have passed the test, ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. This is the first time he tells the son. Hallelujah. You remember the source of the prophet told him, He said, I know who your peace. I have not heard it from the mouth of my man of God. It means it's not time for him to tell me. Don't be the one that tricks your man of God because you want to hear things. You hear what you're not supposed to hear, it can destroy you. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. <laughs> Elijah laughed. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, he is about to be taken from thee into the third heaven. The way does it happen? Watch something. It shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. Elijah was teaching Elisha observation, the mystery of observation, to look unto him very close and tight. Not to lose gaze upon him at every second. Not to lose it. Not to lose his mind. Not to be distracted. Not about the sons that follow in this week. The next week they are angry. The third week they follow. The other week they are angry. The truth is that your father may not rebuke you. You may still be dead. But you are losing many things. And it came to pass. As they still went on. And talked. That behold. There appeared. Where? On earth, on the other side of the Jordan, there appeared chariot of fire and horses. Listen to me. If the spirit realm must penetrate the physical realm, there must be a door. The door from the spirit into this physical world is here. It's not in heaven. As you think, is here. Malokos Kanambra Atelagaya is here. It means you can navigate the two worlds at the same time. Is here. When we decree be healed, it is happening here because the door is here. It's not far. Jesus said, "The glory that you've given me, I've given it. That will make me one." We cannot be one and be two at the same time. No, no. The realities of the unseen world. And it came to pass as they went on and talked. Behold, there appeared a child of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. He said, okay, you Elisha, you are going to remain the physical. But Elijah is about to translate into the spirit. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into it where? But where? On earth. That is where he left. On earth. Matos Cabranta. The Bible says, Enoch walked with the Lord, and the Lord took him. 
Kadosh Kabarabaya. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5, they explain to us that by faith, Enoch was translated into another person. Are you getting this? It is happening here. The miracles you want is going to happen here. Because Jesus brought the kingdom on earth and made us authorities in that kingdom. And we have authority to operate heaven on earth. What a blessing. We operate in two worlds. We can decree and the unseen world becomes real in the seen world. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. And was not found. He was not found. You know why? Don't just listen to these messages and think that they are abstract. When Enoch was translated, they looked for him. He had disappeared. Where is he? He was not found because God translated him. It means there is a process called transubstantiation. It's a process that makes spiritual things become materially possible in the physical. Transubstantiation. That's the process angels use to acquire human bodies on earth. Are you here today? Are you here today? Can we write on? For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. He walked with God so powerfully and mightily that God told him, I need you home. Come. There's so much knowledge in you. Come. Are you getting what I'm saying here? There's so much knowledge in you. Come. Go back to 2 Kings. At this moment, oh, Elisha, something wonderful is going to happen to him. Something outstanding is going to happen to him. What he desired will be given because of his humility and service to the man of God. Hallelujah. And in verse 4, the Bible says, And Elisha saw, Elisha saw it. That was the condition. His master said, If you see me, go. And Elisha saw it. And he cried, My father, my father, the child of Israel and the husband thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and he ran them into pieces because of what he saw. Then verse 13. And he took also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him. And he went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. Remember, there were spectators. They want to see how the unseen world would operate in the seen world through a man that had never done it before. Hallelujah. Because of the mystery of observation, when they came to the Jordan, he saw how Elijah took the mantle and parted the Jordan. He was supposed to go back. Immediately, he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him. And he threw the water and said, Where is the Lord God of the divine? Marado Shabrahan Takadabaya. And when he also had smitten the waters, <laughs> they parted tighter and tighter. And Elisha went over alone. And when the 50 sons of the prophet, when they saw him, and when the sons of the prophets were to view at Jericho and saw him, they said, the spirit of Elijah don't rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him. And what did they do? They bowed themselves to the ground before him. Let me show you fake reverence. They bowed. But they doubted in their heart. We have seen the power. But are you sure that Elijah did not fall on the other side of the mountain? Are you sure that Elijah is not somewhere around? They saw it with their eyes. They, let me tell you something. The spirit world is very real. The physical world is as real as you know. But when miracles happen, there are still people in church that look like that and they doubt. How can a frog come out of the mouth of a man? How can it happen that this guy is just healed like that? Are you sure this hand was really that way? 
Are you sure it's not something like this guy was almost healed then? He just got finished here. Are you getting me? Listen to what happened. People, sons of the prophet who came and bowed themselves. But they are not ready to submit. And they said unto him, Behold now, they be with thee, they, they be with thy servants, 50 strong men. Let them go, we pray thee. Please, let us go and, and look for Elijah. That's the meaning of sin, my master. Let's paraventure. The spirit of the Lord had taken him up and cast him upon some mountain or into some valley. And he said, He shall not send. I don't want it. These are people who prophesy to Elisha that God is about to take your master. They are asking him, we want to go and look for Elijah. Surely there's a mistake. How can the spirit of God be inaccurate? It's not everybody that follows you that believes you. Hallelujah. Some will even ask, are you sure that that prophecy you were not told? Because it's too accurate to come from him. And Elisha can be very normal with them. So they cannot just believe how Elisha, who was not in the school of the sons of the prophet, was by his father's farm, plowing the ground. Mr. Shaphat, the son now, is a prophet. Not just a prophet. He parted the Jordan before our eyes. But we don't trust that his master has gone. Are you getting some things here? It's not everybody in church that believes your prophecy. It's not everybody in church that believes your miracles. It's not everybody. At times you testify. They say you just made it up. You just want people to know that you are fine. That it never really happened. Oh Lord. If your eyes could be open to see that these things are genuine. Many said there is surely somewhere something that apostle did and kept somewhere. And when they said it, I said I'm looking for it. Because if I look for it, it's going to multiply more than this. Hallelujah. I followed the apostle to a level. If he told me that there is something he's using, I said, if he's using one, I will double it. If I see the grass, I double it. Many are watching. I said, if I see it, I double it. I said, sir, one cannot be enough for me. You had it. Let me take more. I need overdose. Are you getting me? That is how I followed. Hallelujah. And they said, we want to go and look for Elijah. He said, I have not asked you to go. And they asked him until he was ashamed. Are you getting this? They asked him. It's like he himself does not believe in the apostle again. And he said, go. And they sent there for 50 men. And they sought three days. They found him not. He was never of. Elisha was never of the intention that they should go. Listen to what he will ask them. And when they came again to him. For he tarried at Jericho. And he said unto them. Did I not say unto you that you should not go? That's why somebody will ask that. Why did God allow Balaam? Are you getting this? Why did God allow him to prophesy? Because God, when you trouble him, he will allow you. You'll be like the unjust judge in Luke 18. Hallelujah. Are you getting what is happening here? So truly, they now believe that what happened is supernatural. What happened is so real. What happened? We saw how the spirit world expressed itself in the physical world so muchly and took a man before our very eyes. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Are you here? Let me let you know something. The gifts and the calling of God, they are without repentance. When God graces a man, he does not take the grace out of earth again. It means, as I'm telling you, the very anointing of Elijah is still available on earth as I speak to you. The very anointing 
on Moses is still available on earth. The very anointing on Paul is still available on earth as I speak to you. A. A. Allen, Jaco, all the anointings are still available. Catherine Coleman, the anointings are still available on earth. Praise Master Jesus. There is a mystery for you to understand this and know what happened to Elijah is that in his time, the sons of the prophet were not ready to submit the way he submitted to Elijah. That is why they were not ready to receive the mantle from Elijah. Elisha. Gehazi would have, but because of money, he left the course. Oh, Ebers, having loved this present world, he left us. What an anointing! Elijah never went with the anointing to heaven. By the way, heaven does not need anointing. The mantle of Senior from a TV Joshua is available on earth. He never went with it. The mantle of Apostle Divine is on me. He never went with it. These are the realities of the unseen world. These are the realities of the unseen world. At the time of Elisha, he went and tempered a God in, in Dothan. And the son of the prophet said, We have been with you for long. Your house is small. We need to leave and go somewhere else. He said, I will accompany you. He accompanied them. And they went. He said, What do you want? They said, Our ass head fell into the water. He said, Where? They said, Yeah. He cut the sea and threw it. Iron. Iron floated. Iron floated on water. The realities of the unseen world. The anointing was too much. Even with what the source of the prophet saw, they never followed Elisha back. They never followed him back. And Gehazi would have been submissive. He left. And Elisha was looking for who to take the anointing, for who to carry the mantle. There was none. And about 120, when he died, he was buried. And they took a dead man and threw it on him. And his bones jacked the man back to life. What an anointing! The anointing God has given on earth does not leave. It's available. Who is ready? You can now see how many anointings of the great generals have wasted in graves. Have wasted. Because there is no one enough. Submissive enough to follow and receive the anointing. Everybody want their own. That's the syndrome of the new age Christianity. Everybody wants to be a lord. Everybody wants to be a father. No one wants to submit. And the great anointings, we cannot find them again. Where's the anointing of Simon Rugosworth? A man who moved in the power of God. So powerful. A man was brought to him that was dead. He said, come here. People don't die here. He took a corpse and threw the corpse down. Boom, and he was going. And the man came back to life. <laughs> One of the devices that the devil is using against the end time church is division. Division. Insubordination. Defiance. Christians who don't want to submit. Christians who are big on their own. They don't know that there is an unseen world operating in this physical world. So mightily. The young prophet was so powerful. He went to deliver a message to the king. And the king stretched forth his hand to harm him. And the hand got withered instantly. What an anointing. Where is he today? Where can we find it? Malapraka zwepri hatakashi. Endiato sablian de kediaka. Metianda prakadiza. Eliako shabada liando sadira. Hallelujah. 
That is why we need men that can submit. Men that can forget about themselves. To be able to retain the anointing. The anointing, the gifts and the callings of God that are without repentance. When a great man of God goes to meet God, he does not need the anointing in heaven. Someone has to carry the anointing to be able to continue that transmission. The anointing upon the life of Jesus fell on Peter. In one crusade, he won 3,000. 3,000. In shadow, he healed the sick and brought back the dead to life. Dockers were dead. He said, I saw when Jesus brought back the daughter of Jairus to life. He took me in and he did the same thing. And Dockers came back to life. The hearts in church today are too big. The hearts in church today are too judgmental. Why is this like that? Why is this one like this? And you question everything in church. Then you want to carry the very anointing. You can never carry an anointing. You question. Valo siante kaprus kepahaya. There is an unseen well that legislates this well. What is going to happen this night is that what you have to know is that there is a port of entry. There is a way things are transported from the spirit world to this world. How does it happen? Now, God oppressed by laws. God, when he created the world, the heavens and the earth, on the sixth day, the Bible says he created man. He made man. Is that true? And when he made man, he bred the bread of life into man. And when he discovered that everything was good, and it was really good. He rested on the seventh day. He rested. The Bible says, God rested. God rested. How does God rest? God rests because he has already made laws available for you to follow. Hallelujah. When he created the earth, he discovered that because human beings need to live on earth, if he is the very God, that is going to be walking from place to place. When a man jumps, he goes and holds the man to bring the man back down. Another man jumps in Australia, he brings the man back down. People are jumping everywhere. Long jump, high jump, others are playing. He said, I cannot do this. He placed a law at the center of the earth. He calls it the law of gravity. Wherever you are, when you jump, God does not need to come. The law will bring you back. When he created the earth, he made man to be at the center. And he said, how is man going to receive from the spirit realm? How is man going to attract things and call for things from the spirit world to come into existence? He said, I have to make a law. If they follow this law, whatever they desire, they shall have it. It is called the law of faith. There is a law. This is the law you apply before you receive things from the spirit world. Because that's where you are coming from. If you don't import from the spirit world your place of origin into the physical world, you will suffer as a normal man and die a natural death. Hallelujah. Are you here today? The law of faith is what transports the spirit substances into this physical world. If you want to bring anything into this life, apply faith. That's why the Bible says, faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for because it is actually a substance. It's actually real. You can feel it. You can touch it. But it's a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. That gives us an indication that when you apply faith, you are transporting the things from the world that is not seen to a world that is seen. What happens is that in the world that is seen, the things we have, they are actually substances. You can touch them, you can feel them. Masu brekanda rabaya, endeko le prekas kedalida, mado shande broko latise ya. In the spirit world, there is no problem with space. There is no problem with land. They are not looking for land. The space is vastus. That is why inside one human being, 3,000 demons can stay. 5,000 demons can stay. 6,000 demons can stay. 
because they don't need a physical location to occupy. What does this mean? You have the ability to expand in the spirit. Is that the realities of the unseen world? If 3,000 demons can stay in one man, then you can expand very mass, vast territories of more than 3,000 meters. Yes. You don't have any limits. I say you don't have any limits. The more you speak in tongues, the more the spiritual world is expanding for you. The more you have concrete territories. There is no limit. I say there is no limit. Because deep, correct unto deep. There is no overdose in prayer. No overdose in studying the word of God. No overdose in worship. You have overdose only for drugs. Because they are sin. Meko Satyanda Mara. Ebrindo Kasyanda Ka. It is a law of faith. It is a law of faith. Hallelujah. Hebrews wanted you to love God and just told you without faith it's impossible to please God listen to me it's not even about pleasing God it's about the law it's a law whether you please God or not what he wants you is to have faith are you getting me why do I say this the Bible says even the patriarchs who had faith they never received the promise So it's a law. Are, are you here today? Let me round up with this one. I have a lot to teach you. I cannot finish it in one message. Praise God to Jesus. When God created the heavens and the earth, oh, Adam failed. Then the devil took authority from Adam. A lot was blocked from man. Even the prayer of Daniel. The principality, the prince of Persia, held the answer. And said he will not deliver this to Daniel. He will not get this knowledge he's looking for. He will not get this answer he's looking for. Let me tell you, there are demonic presence everywhere around you. If you don't engage in prayer, they will mess your life up. You may not be possessed by demons, but they have ability to read you. They have ability to study you. There are familiar spirits that have information about your family more than your great grandfathers. They have information about your family more than your family genealogy table. They know more about your family because they gather a lot of information about you and they use that information against you. And artificial intelligence is causing the world now to take another tone. Brethren, we are in the end times. I'm telling you we are in the end times. A lot of artificial intelligence is around us. So powerful that you should not underestimate it. You should not under undermine it. You take your phone, before you want to type what you want to type, they suggest to you what you wanted. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Let's go back to business before we round up. Is somebody blessed today? Do you want to go home now? Just relax. Look at this. Now, there must be a medium of transportation from the spirit world, the unseen world into the seen world and from the seen world into the unseen. Are you getting this? Now, if you want to receive anything from the spirit world, the spirit world can only transport it through faith transport system. How does information go to the spirit world to declare the things you want in the seen world is through the law of prayer. That is how you request. That is how you ask for. Whatever you want to ask, ask in prayer. If you cry, the spirit world will never, never intervene. If you are pitiful, if you just look and you are, you are, you are overtaking about your challenges, the spirit world will never intervene. Only on the altar of prayer. Only on the altar of prayer. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves because everybody has pride, shall humble themselves and pray, then I will heal their land. They love prayer. That's a channel that carries your request to the spirit world. And it's a law of faith that brings what you deserve. That brings the things you want to see. That brings the things you desire to have here on earth. 
lekono matian takasa tayaga rekosh kadian de kasuzu ende ko salaya what of jesus at the moment he was about to enter into the heavens he went to a place called bethany and it is at that point he levitated and a cloud of witness received him heaven is very near heaven is very close and heaven is inside of you stop thinking how am i going to do god is not going to hear me there is a place called the throne of grace it's found everywhere he said i used to tabernacle in temples made with hands but now i no longer stay there i've come to stay inside of you and they so go kalianda mada we can change our environment. We can cause changes around when we understand how the supernatural operates, how the spirit world responds to our decrees. Malo Shanta Gabaya, Leko Terianda Kasu Subrika. Priests of Persia could hold the prayer of Daniel, but not after Jesus has come. I say, not after Jesus has come. His blood has paid and he has made the way clear for me. I don't need to pray the way Daniel prayed. I need to pray in a line. I need to pray through a pipeline called Jesus. No one can stop that prayer. No one can stop the prayer. Because I'm praying in the name. I'm praying in the name. God bless you. If you have not yet received Christ, make this prayer of salvation. Repeat after me. Oh God, I come to you through your son Jesus. I ask your son Jesus to be my personal Lord and Savior. I confess his lordship over my life, spirit, soul, and body. Thank you for accepting me as I am. I am born again. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. Congratulations, you are now a child of God. To receive information on how you can grow as a Christian, please contact us through the following number. Plus 237-652-848-668 You can also contact us via Facebook on the page Apostle Divine C. Okafor. God bless you.